Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to manage your Apple device's file system completely using two different ways. The first one is OpenSSH and the second one is iFunbox. Um, iFunbox is also a good alternative to iTunes if you're not a fan of iTunes. Um, to manage your file system though, you do have to be jailbroken. So if you um, aren't jailbroken yet, there will be a link in the top left corner of the video uh, to, uh, to my tutorial on how to jailbreak. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first one I'm going to do is show you is open SSH. Now, first thing you need to do is in Cydia download this application, open SSH. The fastest way to find it is on the home page right here, open SSH access how to. And then click right here on this link which you can't see because my phone likes to, my camera likes to change focus. Oh, right there, that link, open SSH. And there you go. There's your package that you have to install. Um, Cydia will show you what to do on how to install that. So, once you do install that package, you can go to your computer. And uh, if you're on Mac, you can go ahead and open up Terminal. However, on Windows, you do need to go to this website, this OpenSSH website, which I'll have a link for in the description, and download the newest version of uh, Setup SSH and the .exe. So I already have it downloaded and installed, so I will not bother doing that for you. But if you want to, here's actually the install link. What happens if it's already installed? It's going to do it anyway? Okay. Already installed. Click OK to remove the preview. Okay. I'm going to hit cancel because it's already installed. So cancel. No. Okay. So, I already have mine installed. You do not. So, clearly you need to. After you install it, you're in Windows again. You're going to open up your command prompt. Now, if you are on Mac, open up Terminal. And from here, we're going to go back on the device. Now, on your device, you're going to want to click Settings and take a look at your Wi-Fi settings. And make sure you write down this IP address. And another thing you're going to want to do if you're planning on SSHing for a long time, I don't know exactly what you're using SSH for at this moment, is you're going to want to go into General, Auto Lock, and turn it to Never down at the bottom, just so that your phone stays active the whole time you're messing with its file system. So, back in command prompt or terminal, depending on your operating system, you're going to type in ssh root at, uh, space root at that IP address and enter. Okay, mine did not ask me, but yours might ask you if you want to enter into the file system, and uh, you're going to type in yes, but uh, from here, you, the default password for ssh is alpine. Now, now that we're in, I'm going to show you how to change your default password because it's something you should do now that you have OpenSSH installed. If somebody were to get your IP address, they could just log into your phone from anywhere. So, what we're going to type in to change our password is pass, oops, pass wd, password, nice and short. So, new password. Type in whatever password you choose. Retype in the same thing. And there you go, you got a new password. Now, since that is pretty much all you need to do with OpenSSH, there's a, or with SSH actual command prompt to actually get it to work. From here, you can do whatever you want to do to manage your file system, but now you're in, so I'll leave it up to you. I will have future tutorials to show you different cool tricks you can do with SSH. But now that we're back on our phone, we're going to show you how to do iFunbox. In Cydia, again, we're going to need to download this app, Apple File, Apple File Conduit 2. It is not on a source you need to add, it's on a source that comes installed in Cydia, so just search for that app and you will find it. 
pretty damn quickly. Um, at this point, you also then need to go on your computer and download iPhone Box. Um, this link will be in the description. If you're on Windows, clearly iPhone Box for Windows. If you are on Mac, iPhone Box for Mac. Now, I use iPhone Box Classic, which is what I'll be showing you how to use today, but the full version is what I downloaded. iPhone Box Classic is included in the full version. So I already have it downloaded. You'll need to download that. But once we have it downloaded, then go ahead and open it. And it's going to do this pretty much every time you open the thing. Now down here, search for devices. No devices plugged in. Yes, there are. There we are. Alright, so there's my phone. And uh, what I'm going to do first is go click on iPhone Box Classic, just because I like the Classic version a little bit better than the main. So now that we are in iPhone Box Classic, here is your file system completely down. Now, unjailbroken, you can access all of this. But jailbroken, jailbreaking gives you this stuff down here. Now, if you notice, here is an SSH terminal which I have to enter my password for because I just changed it. And I just showed you all my password. Oh well. Now, so here we are in the file system. Now, oh, down here is where you type in this one. I actually have never used OpenSSH this way before. So, there you go. Now, you can also just go into the raw file system and, for example, Applications folder. Here's the applications. You can delete pretty much whatever you want to delete. Uh, Compass app, Contacts app, Calendar. Just make sure you do not delete Cydia. And make sure you do not delete Pangu. I don't know if it's in this folder or not. Yeah, there it is. Don't delete Pangu. Your phone needs those to work pretty much. So you can Google on other stuff you can delete or not delete. But uh, that is how you do iPhone Box and OpenSSH. Um, there will be links to further videos on cool stuff you cool stuff you can do within both of those apps. Um, those videos will be on my page. If you uh, could like the video, subscribe to my page. Again, jailbreak tutorial in the top left. Uh, subscribe in the bottom right. And top right is going to be a tutorial on how to use iTools. Just because I'm showing you iTools. I'm actually not reviewing this phone, my jailbreak phone, because... For some reason, the live desktop just doesn't want to work. I have jailbroken, restored, jailbroken, restored, and no idea why it's not working, but anyway. Here's, so I'm using my actual phone to do this, but that's the guide for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.